when we work with light and we're dealing with color and trying to organize and sort color, we're talking about color that is known as additive. An additive just means that when you take the component colors, the foundational hues, red, green, and blue, and mix them together, you create all the other colors in the spectrum. Those foundational hues are known as primary hues, and they're primary meaning you start with them, they are first, they exist first. You can't mix any other colors to create them, but you mix them to create all the other colors. So in light, our primary hues are red, green, and blue. When you mix blue and green together, you create cyan. When you mix green and red, yellow is the result. And when you mix red and blue, magenta is the result. So magenta, cyan, and yellow are secondaries mixed from two primaries. So additive color mixing is just basically the blending of light. When you mix everything together, not just a primary with a primary, but you mix all three primaries together, the result is white. So everything adds up to all of the vis visible light spectrum. So here, in terms of additive color mixing, we're seeing the green, the red, and the blue. And this is a tetrahedron. It's a four-sided pyramid. And the color of the tetrahedron is actually white. But each side is now capturing each of the three lights. There's a blue light, and there's a red light, and a green light. Notice also how there's yellow extending over here because the form is blocking the blue light, so the combination of the red and green is creating this yellow shadow. Notice that the green is almost a yellow green. It has so much yellow in it, it's a very light and very vivid color. And you can see here in the shadow, the cast shadow, there's magenta. And over here in this cast shadow, there's cyan because the red light is being blocked by the form. So that's additive color mixing. It's kind of cool, huh? And here you can see on a sphere, the sphere is also white, we have the green and the red and the blue, and then the various yellow, cyan, and magenta cast shadows. So again, the yellow is being created where the form itself is blocking the blue light and we're getting the combination of just the red and the green reflecting off the white surface. So I push the lights closer together so they're reflecting more off the top of the ball. That's where we're seeing the white. And it's a little bit difficult to see in the video but there's white right in here. But you can see there's yellow, and there's cyan and magenta.